what's around everybody what's around i know it's around your belly is around <laughs> your belly is around right or are you planning on having a round belly otherwise you wouldn't be watching me <laughs> but who knows it's 2022 some people might even be pregnant might not even have kids might not even think about kids but whatever but what's around everybody this is belly also pregnant coming to you again aka Tramika, aka free to be you know that's right <laughs> what's going on everybody okay so come on let's talk so doulas pay attention to your doulas better yet let's keep it simple listen to your doula right a doula especially a certified doula let's get that correct because it's 2022, so I got to kind of change up the verbiage a little bit when I think somebody knows something. They actually don't, so I got to I gotta keep remembering that. And sometimes y'all may have to remind me, right? <laughs> but anyway, so listen to your doula, okay? Your certified doula. And it's okay to ask them, you know, for their credentials. It's okay to say, do you have a certificate? Or, you know, um, ask questions, how many births and stuff like that but certified, okay? They got paperwork and the education and knowledge to know. Now, for those who, there are some traditional doulas, but those are rare now, but you can find them in other countries, you know, but I'm in the United States, so I'm really talking from a perspective of the United States, but, you know, birth is getting popular now. You know, everybody wants to talk about their birth and things like that, so everybody you know wants to be a doula and things and it's just like being really you know about it but um some doulas like i was saying before they've been passing that knowledge from you know their aunts and their grandmothers and you know somebody in the community that they um was under that they learned the ways of of birth but doulas are non-medical support for moms and doulas are usually there from the time that you pretty much want them there, you know, as contractions start, you know, a lot of moms, you know, might not need somebody there because you already know it's contractions, you've been aware of how it works because you took childbirth education, hint, 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 right? And you're just like, okay, I'm going to call her when I know I need some help, but right now I'm going to do this, that, and the other. Okay, so, but they're there from that point on and even after you have a baby because there's postpartum doulas that specifically are there just to help you during your postpartum but that's a whole other video to break that down this is about listening to your doula okay so she's trained to help you have a safe low risk low intervention quick not less painful, but more so because the way I have to talk the way um, society is talking. So, um, not more painful, but it's an intensity to it that you will not, you don't experience without having a child. Like it's nothing out. Like you can't, you know, some things, some stories, some situations. You can compare it one thing to another. You know, like oh, it's like this, that, and the other. No. So to be able to describe it, it's kind of like, even if you go through it, it's hard to describe, you know, because you have to go through it. And the only thing you can do is like, oh, mm mm-hmm, like, yeah, I get it. It's like a telepathic type of communicating versus words, because some words, some all words are just very, you know, it could be like, it's not enough words to describe it or little words but one word to describe it is you know words just make things a little bit complicated sometimes not sometimes all the time telepathy is like better because you can get it more accurate it's like mm, mm, right like you're right that's it that's all you need that's it but like let me get back to this i'll say and i have another channel that i talk about stuff like that but um and if you're interested comment below and i'll put the link but you know, um, uh, so let's do your doulas, okay? The labor is gonna go by quicker, right? And mostly, y'all probably reading a whole bunch of books about how long labor is supposed to be, and secondly, it's third stage, and fourth, all that other kind of stuff, and what happens, and, and what's the painful stage, all that other kind of stuff. They're there to help you through all the stages, 
even if it's over the phone, there's a lot of tele doulas and, and, and video uh, doodles and doulas that you can just talk to online and have a phone right next to you. You can be laptop open or your tablet open and that doula is talking to you. Um, I offer that service as well because since COVID, right? And I want to be able to reach as many women as possible. So um, is it the most effective way? No, but I mean, when there's no choice in the matter, you know, you can't get to another country or you can't cross borders or it's expensive to travel and all this other kind of stuff, you know, we, we, you know, I just want to be as most practical as possible, but yet be able to help at the same time, right? So it's still effective because it's basically somebody whisper in your ear, like an angel whisper in your ear, so to say, um, to um, guide you and to give you some insight on what's next, even if you don't, you don't even see where she's going with it, right? Because sometimes when you go into labor, it's a, you, 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 you start to split, okay? Mind starts to go, things just start to leave you, okay? Things that you knew you don't know no more. You know, ask your name. Some of them be like, I forgot my name. <laughs> you know, and that's not even like in a labor where you see somebody ho- hollering and screaming. It could be just somebody sitting there peacefully going through labor. But ask them something like what today is, what season is. They, they in a whole other zone because things are separating, departing mentally, physically, spiritually, you name it. <laughs> okay. So that's a whole situation going on that not even, and they can try to write it in spiritual books about birth and they still trying to figure it out. But, because it's a price, it's, it's deeper than that. You know what I mean? So here we go. You're gonna have to listen to your doula because you get it done faster. You get it done uh, more efficient, right? She's gonna tell you to do things that you're not gonna be able to see where she's coming from, but know that the bottom line is, the bottom line is, she wants to get you through that labor just as much as you want to get through that labor, and she is there to make sure that you don't give up. Cause just like like life and things tough in life, it's easy to give up. I'm not saying that labor is tough, okay? Cause some women describe it as tough. But it's a transition, I tell you that. And anybody who says they don't, they must have been knocked out when they had the child. And that's why a lot of moms want to redo their birth if they've been heavily medicated or in a cesarean section because they're not able to experience that transition. And there's a lot of messages and things that, you know, you must learn from the transitions. So, you know, listen to her. Or him, okay? Because there's some um, men are becoming doulas too, but um, yeah, they're rare. But I'm just, you know, these videos are timeless, right? <laughs> so that's what you're gonna have to do, and trust her. Don't pick a doula that you don't trust. If you have any doubts, any, 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 and you know what? I'm looking right now at a caterpillar. Wait, let me see if y'all can catch this since we talk. Shins. You see that? Let's see if I can get it closer. Mm-hmm. I don't know where it went, but I'll show you there it go. Transition. Okay? That's what it's all about. How are you gonna transition? You transition with a help. You know, people go through transition like where they go? Church, right? Religion. Not to be church, because not all religions go to church. They call it different things, but it's some place to worship. Right? People go into meditation. People, you know, overdo things just to compensate for uh, going through the transition. People procrastinate not to go through the transition, knowing that if they do, ooh, there's a nice, nice reward at the end of that, right? But it takes work, it takes patience, it takes listening to your doula. Now, she is non-medical. He's non-medical. Your midwife is medical. So technically, the doula will have to listen to the midwife. Uh, the doula usually reports to the midwife what's going on. You know, kind of like, oh yeah, she's 
you know, they don't notice that they can't check, but just based on the gruntings and the movements and the facials and the expressions and if they're screaming and if they're saying it hurts and all these, she can describe that to a midwife and a midwife will automatically know when to come or the mom will tell the doula, call a midwife <laughs> and the midwife will come because mom said come, right? And if the midwife tells the doula, okay, you know, stop doing that and have her do this, then the doula has to listen to the midwife, okay? Because the midwife is medical. A doula is a non-medical. She's just like a, a little angel in the background giving you some intuition on how to get through, just like a scripture, you know, or a parable or any of those things out there or a poem, you know, right? That's what she's there for, to drop on little nuggets, some golden nuggets of intuition to help you. Well, you already know what to do. Dads, you too. You might be scared to, and it might look weird to do it based on all the social norms that are placed on men. But at the birth, whether it's your child coming out, whether you have been invited to your, your godchild or your nephew or whatever, you've been invited as a male, it's a very spiritual moment, okay? Yeah, you could break out the cigars and do the whole social norm, social acceptable thing. But your intuition, instead of pacing back and forth and not knowing what to do, and like the whole scene that you see on TV, smoking cigarettes and, you know, it's just a nervous wreck, right? Tap, this is a good time for you to tap into your feminine side. And I'm going a little deep on a birthing video, but at this point, I cannot help it. So, <laughs> it's getting a little bit too like, what is she talking about? Then maybe you could watch my previous videos because I kind of control it. Control it. But right now, no. Okay, I'm out here. All right, we just had a little summer rain. Okay, see some of my glasses. So, I'm, I'm yeah. So tap in to your feminine side, because everybody has a masculine and feminine. Tap into your feminine side, men. Tap into your intuition. Tap into what you feel, okay? Tap into your emotions, all that stuff, all that. It is time for you to get there. Don't come up in here with all this testosterone. <laughs> I mean, pull it out when you need to. You know what I mean? You, you know, just like a scale. Pull it out what you need to. If you have to bring it up because you need to protect your wife to get her to the hospital, then come on now, bring it up. But when it's time for her to, you know, you settled in everything and bags are in the room or whatever or you're having a home birth and, you know, everything is set up the way the midwife told you to set it up. Okay, now the help is here, Dad. The doula's here. The midwife's here. You know, the assistants are here. Now it's time for you to jump in your fin bar. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Just jump right in because technically everybody around you is in it. So if you don't even know how, because maybe there's a lot of men who don't have moms or feminine, a lot of feminine um, people around them. So they don't know what it is to soften up and to, to, to care and to be emotional. They have no idea, you know, what it is to do that. But... Look around the room and then just mimic what they're doing. Whatever they're doing, you can do. You might see somebody rubbing on her, her arm or her leg. Just mimic it on the other side. Somebody might be rubbing her shoulders or telling her something like, it's okay. Are you going to get through this? Are you going to make it? Are you strong? Oh, that was, oh, wow, you're doing great. That was a great contraction. Just mimic those words. You know what I mean? And trust me. When I tell you this, because it's very painful for women, it's very painful for a man to see someone they love, especially their lady, you know what I mean, and see her in pain, and then you feel like you don't know what to do. It, 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 the, the men feel like they don't, they don't know what to do. That pain is not ladies. So, in order to equal out the flow, equal out the, the level of it all in the room, to equal out this spiritual moment, listen to the doula. She might even tell you, Dad, um, um, can you hold her up in this position so that way she don't get so tired? Or can you take this ball and rub her back with this? Or can you um, take this brush and brush her hair? Or, you know, don't be just like, 
I don't want to do that. Like, I don't even do that in real life. This is not, it's real life <laughs> at the realest. The things that we do outside of birth, it mimics birth. But we, we found ways to cut around, you know, certain things. With, with real birth, you just don't cut around. You just, you just got to do it. It's just, look, straight path. It's, wait, I can't even see. You see a path behind me. Straight path. <laughs> straight path. All right, so definitely listen to your doula. And I guarantee you, and I know you're going to be stubborn about it. You're going to be like, uh, but if the positions, if you can hold whatever position she tell you or suggest for 30 minutes, even if you got to put a timer on, if it's like a psychological thing, put a timer on, you know, it's kind of like, okay, like when you know the oven, um, something in the oven is done, the microwave or whatever, it's going to ding. So 30 seconds, ding. Hold that position. I mean, 30 minutes. And even tell her, like, can I hold it for at least 30 minutes? And she's going to be like, heck yeah, you can hold it for 30 Because a lot of things can happen, ladies, with just a shift. A lot of things can happen with patience and a shift. And that shift can be standing up. Shift can be sitting down. Shift can be laying to the right side. Shift could be laying to the left side. Shift could be having going up some stairs or pretending to go up some stairs. Just using that movement, but you're not actually climbing stairs. You're just using the leg up movement as if you are. All of that. You could be going from not having any strong contractions to boom. Here they come. And when that boom, every time a contraction is a, a mamma jamma, that mean baby's on his way. That's all you gotta remember. You want those contractions to, to hit, just like going to the ocean. You go to the ocean, okay, it's nice to see like a flat water, but when the water got a wave to it, it's even more prettier. The pictures come out better, it's more, you know, I shouldn't say dramatic, but it's like, okay, I can see the elements of the world. You know what I mean? You know, so that's what we want. You don't want like a flat, pond or something and nothing moves no you want it to move you want it to have that perfect picture you know of the ocean where you get a concept of everything the ocean is so if i was to take a picture and teach a kindergarten class what an ocean is they'll have a better idea than just a flat <laughs> you know what i mean it's like okay i can see that at the lake <laughs> you know so that's what you want you want that image all the time every time right except for in the beginning in the beginning you should be resting okay in the beginning early labor you should be resting but that's a whole other video so i'll talk about that all right i'll talk to you guys later and if you have any comments comment below if you um need to contact me you can contact me at belly also pregnant at gmail.com and all my social media pretty much is belly also pregnant or preg or you know how they limit how much you can do and stuff like that so you just type belly oh so and i'm sure and then preg on your way to pregnant then it should definitely come up <laughs> so have a wonderful day and night